Hello everyone and welcome back to No One Has to Die. So we have one more part of this tree remaining and we need to save Chris this time, but I'm not exactly sure how to do that. So... So can I get him... Oh, no, 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 reset. Let's move him over and then I can lock... Oh, it automatically locks. I can't do more than one, so... Sorry, Christina! Died by your own fire. So she must be for sure the one who set the fire to get revenge on the, uh, the corporation for murdering her mother who they sent back in time. I'm so sorry. I don't want to hear it. If you were sorry, you would have listened to me. At least I could go to the gym now and be a douche. I had to make a decision. I don't expect you to be happy with what I've done. Just shut up. This is all a trick. This is a nightmare. You're still here, aren't you? Chris? If you're there, send me a message. You're just ignoring me again, right? Steve, I understand this must be impossible for you right now, but you need to keep moving. And what the hell is the point of that? Christina just died for you. If you don't get out of here, she'll have died for nothing. Sure. I'm gonna get out of here, and it's gonna turn out that this has all been some kind of sick joke. And Chris will be waiting for me outside, and sell me some of that sweet ass. I, I mean, alive. I mean, how do I even know it was Chris who was writing those messages, right? It could have been someone other than Chris. Okay, I'm ready. I'm heading up to the ground level now. Can't wait to see her again. Can't see wait to see that luscious booty. Alright, just a little farther. Ah, oh, there's a desk with one of those blue files you were talking about on top of it. It's another security code. Another one, but what for? I guess with this, you can control more fire doors at a time. Not that, not a lot of use now. Steve, are you still there? He was, you just sent a message, you douche. Steve, I knew it. I told you. Told me what? She's alive. Chris is alive. What? What's going on? So, there was a file next to the one with the security code. When I saw it, I knew it had to read it. It was entitled Phoenix Experiment. The one with the cockatiels? Just let me explain. So, I didn't get a lot of it, but here's what I understood. So, Phoenix Corp had an experiment planned where they were going to buy a lot of cockatiels and teach them to say a phrase. It wasn't anything cool like I love titties, but most, but every time they had enough birds for the experiment, they would just randomly decide to increase the sample size. All in all, they bought around six million cockatiels. They stopped buying them the day that something weird happened. One of the cockatiels they bought already knew the phrase they were going to teach it. Uh, weird. Whoever sold that to them knew what was going on and tried to mess with the experiment. Let me finish! So, they tagged this special cockatiel that already knew the phrase and taught the phrase, and it taught the phrase to the, all the other cockatiels. But the experiment didn't end there. They ran each and every one of those cockatiels through some kind of machine. It was worse than Chris had thought. They all died. All of them except one. The bird that they'd marked. The one that already knew the phrase was fine. What? Some sort of machine works like that? I have no idea. The paper talks about very little about the machine itself and what it does say I don't understand. Bizarre, but how does this tell you Christina's alive? I'm sorry, I'm all over the place right now, so here's the thing. The phrase that the birds were taught, it was, Christina lives. Steve, are you sure you're feeling all right? I mean it, that's what it says. You can see it for yourself when I show Chris. But even if it's true, we still have no idea what that phrase means. What do you mean? Christina lives. It means she's alive. More booty. But we don't understand anything about the experiment. It could mean anything. Steve? Oh, come on. You need to keep in contact. Sorry, no time to type. I'm sitting here in the room doing nothing but beating it. I fi I've got to find a way out of <laughs> way out so I can find Chris. See ya. No, keep talking. Steve, come on. Oh, you wiener. Why does he keep talking to people who aren't there? And we got the Steve end. The final timeline has appeared. Oh, shit. 
It's about to go. Oh, it's about to go down, son. What's about to go down? Future Corporation Security has been coming out. Personal, blah, 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 blah. We already told us. Wait. Oh, okay. Lionel, what the hell is going on here? I went into the Tempest room like you told me to, and now I'm back here in the control room. Wait. What? How did I end up here? Steve has logged in. Chris, you're alive! I knew that luscious booty wouldn't go! Steve, I thought you were dead. Me? Troy is logged in. You guys, you remember. You finally remember. Troy, all of this is just some part trick of yours, isn't it? No. I don't remember what... Oh, he's at the Southern. No, I have no idea what's going on. You think I'm going to believe that if you lit this fire? I didn't light the fire. Uh, you don't... <laughs> that douche voice is getting to me. You just don't... You don't just get to change your story now. Steve, he's telling the truth. What do you mean? Lionel. Amazing. I knew this would happen sometime somewhere, but I never thought I'd be the one to witness it. You know what's going on here? Yes, but for now, there are more pressing matters. Does anyone here have the, one of the security codes? I already told you mine last time. RFTS. But did anyone find any new ones? Oh, I found a blue one which said IRHH in it. I found one which... I found one which said Zoe! I wonder if that actually makes something. I'm kind of curious now. Uh, okay, hold on. What was it? Ah, oh, shit, I don't even remember. I can't scroll up. Perfect! Visitor, I confess that just before I cut out last time we spoke, I found a file containing the code EMAS. I'm sure if you unscramble those letters, you could probably find out what that means. If anything. Four codes received. All access. Full access granted. Full access. You can now lock four fire doors at a time instead of just one. That is the shittiest security system in the history of security systems. Yeah, we can lock one of these doors, but the rest of them, no, it's just going to let fire in. Lionel, tell us what the hell is going on here already. Why is everyone alive again? There's no way I would have enough time for that now. Fire on floor B3. No casualties expected. No one has to die! Yes, now that we have all the security codes, we're all safe. Let's get out of here then! Oh, <laughs> lock, lock! Wait, okay, I still have to hit that once. Sploosh! Okay, no more sploosh. We don't need any more sploosh. Everybody lives! Fire has been contained. Fantastic, we're all still alive. Great, but you still owe us an explanation. How is everybody alive again? How did I end up back when I was... Where I was when the fire started? Why aren't these rooms fire damaged anymore? Why don't I have a hold of Chris's sweet ass? Visitor, do you remember what I told you before? Yeah, you invented a time machine. Impossible. Well, it was a bit different to a time machine. I guess it carries your thoughts and memories through time instead of your body. Correct so far? It works going forward, but... Going backwards, going backwards, you killed someone. They never returned to their body. That is the story as I told it. That person you murdered was my mother, asshole. What? Your mother died of a brain tumor. You told me so. That was a lie, you fucking douche. Lionel killed my mother to test some impossible time travel bullshit. So I lit the fire. I lit it to kill Lionel and wreck his corporation before they had, before they ruined any more lives. Chris, I don't believe it! That booty! I had suspected as much. No, I had expected as much. Christina, your mother is not dead. What do you mean by that? I've seen her body. You took her brain. All right, all right, nobody has to die. Log all this shit. Oh, Contain that fire! Hooray! No death! The fire has been contained yet again. Next! Lionel answers, Your mother is not dead. This is going to be hard to explain. When we sent your mother back in time, she never returned to her body. 
However, there is still... There was not a single fault in our logic. The machine was designed perfectly. The machine is what's in the Tempest Room, right? Correct. Anyway, we conducted many experiments and eventually came to one fascinating conclusion. When our subjects had traveled forward through time, the future was not set, so time would bend to accommodate our time traveler. That is, the consciousness traveling through time would remain in its own timeline. But when traveling backwards, things were not so simple. The consciousness would become lost in the mess that is time-space. It would find a host, one which owed the consciousness, owned the consciousness, and one which existed at the time it had been sent back to. But it would not always find its host in its own universe. You've lost me. Our research would suggest that there are nearly infinite amounts of universes, each nearly identical, only with minute differences between them. So, when Christina's mother traveled backwards through time, she was not alone. Trillions of her, maybe even more, traveled too. They would, they would land randomly in different timelines. Some would land in the same timeline, and one consciousness would override the other. In some timelines, no one would ever know that Christina's mother had even left, or that the consciousness that had returned to her body wasn't from their universe. A few consciousness would, consciousnesses would land back where they began, in their own universe. But many timelines were left, like here, in this universe, where Christina's mother's consciousness left this world, but no other consciousness returned to fill her body. Because of this, the body remains empty, and Christina's mother was effectively dead. But her consciousness lives on in another time, another universe. I'm not buying a word of this! But it explains everything. This is the... This is why everything kept happening over and over again. This is why we're all here. Yes, it took me a while to figure out, but we have all been brought here by the Tempest Machine. Visitor, you remember a time in which you left everyone die apart from myself, correct? Yeah, then you gave me the access to the Tempest Room. Well, each of these people's people remembers a different reality. One where they were the only survivor of the fire. That's right. I had to do... <laughs> I had to and wait... <laughs> Fuck it, goddamn. I hate this guy. I had to wait and do nothing while Chris's booty died. I had to wait and do nothing as all of you died time and time again. At the end of each of these realities, a survivor entered the Tempest Machine, which had, the clock, had its clock set to the beginning of this disaster as a security measure. When each of us entered the Time Machine, we were randomly shot into another universe. Some of us would have ended up back here where we started, and no one else remembered what had just taken place. But there would, but there would be a few universes like this, where by chance all of us came from five different universes into one. And that is how we were all here together now, with memories of different futures. Whoa! But the chances of that happening would be practically zero. Actually, with as many universes as there are, it's incredibly likely. There are probably hundreds of universes in which the same thing has happened as is happening here. Nothing about this seems incredibly likely, but it's the truth. Oh. Okay, so what do we do here? Okay, locky locky. Wait, no. I have to hit that once. Can he... He needs to move. I can lock that. Water has to come out. It's making sure I don't screw this up. It's, it seems relatively straightforward. But okay, can't do any more water, and the fire will fill that room. And we should be good. Hooray! Foyer contained. Hey, guys, all of your paths meet up here, right? The do. I suppose they must. Soon we'll be able to talk in person. No fire detected. I can't wait to see you again, Chris. That luscious booty is... Wait, I mean, I'm glad you're safe. I can't either, Steve. I can't believe you're still alive. I was hoping you'd die in a fire and then drowned in that fire. You're both alive. Well, hurry up then. I'm already there. Okay, coming through now. I can see you. I'm in. Me too. 
Hey, has anyone unlocked the front doors for me so a guy can come down to... Hello? Anyone? Guys, stop talking in person for a second. Lock... Look at your messages, damn it. Typical. Now what do I do? You die in a fire. Visitor? Christina, can you ask Lionel to open the door for me? What? No, sorry. I don't think I'll have the chance to. Something wrong? Where are you? I stepped out for a moment. I'm at the Tempest entrance. I haven't been entirely upfront with all of you. What do you mean? I've been here before. Were you just listening to Lionel? We've all been here before. No, I've been here before. To a timeline just like this one, where we all managed to survive. Except, things went a little differently at that time. For instance, I asked Lionel where the controls for the Tempest machine were, and he told me that they were on B2 in my section of the building. Later he explained that the machine can't send consciousness back before the first time it was turned on, which was when my mother was sent back through time. So I thought I'd give things another try and I hop back in the Tempest machine. Don't tell me. This time, while we were on floor B2, I set the time machine as far back as it could go to the moment I'd lost my mother. I'm going back. I'm going back three years to find my mother. This is crazy. You could end up just end up just end up in another universe where she disappeared. Then I'll break into here, I'll travel again. What about the people who care about you in this universe? What about Steve? That fucking douche. You should know better than anyone how what this feels like. You've had to choose one person's happiness over another's time and time again. In the timeline you came from, you even chose to kill me. I wish I could have Steve and my mother both at once, but I don't have that choice. I've spent too long wishing she was here to turn back now. Besides, that guy's a fucking douche, and I'm hoping he is dead. Christina. You're not going to stop me, are you? No, no, I suppose I'm not. Tell douchebag I'm sorry, and that I kind of like him. Tell him I hope we meet sometime, somewhere again. Somewhere again sometime. Whatever, you know what I'm trying to say. But, but for now, goodbye. Goodbye, and good luck. Thanks, I think I'll need it. Okay, bye! Did it ever say the other two logged out? End! End? Badge? Are you going to give badge? Is there more? I think that appears to be it. So... I don't know. Is there anything else to do? When they're on B2, is there actually something... Skip. No, there's nothing here. I thought maybe there was, uh... Let me check again just to make sure there wasn't like a paper or something I needed to get because she did mention that. No, I don't see anything here, so. So I guess it's still not crediting, so. As far as I know, that is the final ending. Too many deaths! Everybody's been freaking murdered. So I'm gonna just do this one last time. For reasons, I don't know what I'm expecting. I don't think I'm expecting really anything, but. Aye! Nothing like a hot day when your water gets warm, too. No, I suppose it's just not crediting. So, that's kind of balls. If I find something, I'll upload a short video to it. But as for now, I believe that was the end of No One Has to Die. So, this was very cool for just a simple point and click game. It took me about an hour of recording time to complete it, mostly because of my non-stop reading and all that stuff. But again, as always, the link will be in the video description. And this is Takamasak. I'll see you later.